Yeah, I thought I'd show you some uh, things that I did with a little bit too much time on my hands. I purchased a multi charger here. It's the Thunder AC6. And I've, I'm using it for my larger airplanes with some lipos. But I have some small, just dinky laying around planes that I've had for quite some time, even to the point of. You've seen these at Harbor Freight. Well, they have very small NIMH batteries in them. This one here in this aircraft is a 1.2 volt, obviously single cell, NIMH, uh, one third double A, and it's a 250 milliamp hour. Uh, this one here is a two thirds triple A. 1.2 volt, 300 milliamp hour batteries, and they have the little charge connectors on the airplanes. <coughs> this aircraft here comes, hey, from Harbor Freight. You know, you want to, you get bored, you want to play with some stuff, and it comes with this battery, an IMH uh, AAA pack. It's a seven pack, 600 milliamp, and 8.4 volts. Well, I wanted to learn how to charge them with my uh, Thunder AC6 charger and just playing around with it. So uh, maybe this will help you out because I went to the RC forums and nobody had any answers for me. Well, the Thunder AC6 comes with a numerous sets of cores, balancer, and I decided that uh, I wanted to try it. So this was my first one. That's the 600 milliamp battery, 8.4 volt. It has the small Tamiya, I think that's how you pronounce it, Tamiya connector on it. And um, I didn't have any laying around, and it's pretty long distance to the hobby shop. So to make a plug for that that would fit in my uh, Thunder Charger, I never throw away any old uh, computer stuff. And so here's a power supply. And on the power supply, as this plug, it's a square four plugs, and they're all separated posts. I went and clipped the uh, clipped the plug off, and then took, if you can see with this, it's really going to be hard to see. Hopefully, I can get you better there. I cut off to the post, and it left me with a red and a black wire on this one. This one here is the uh, 12 volt 2 and 12 volt 1 supply, I believe. These were yellow and black, but I chose to get the red and black one off of them. I clipped it off, and it fits perfectly into the mini Timea plug here. I took the Thunder Charge cord that came with it, has the large connector on it, clipped it off. I just used some crimp collect connectors, these red ones here, as you see, and crimped it on there. Now to charge the battery, <coughs> I won't show you this here because I'm only doing this with one hand. To charge the battery, I connect the battery to the banana plug connector for the Thunder AC6, plug it into the Thunder AC6, and I use I set up a uh, manual here for it, uh, manual charging. Gosh, let's see if we can get this a little bit better for you. NIMH charge manual current, and I'm using just one amp. Um, these smaller batteries that you get, they give you a little battery pack on a lot of them, and they just put two double uh, uh, A's batteries in series and charge them with three volts. So I figured, hey, let's, let's see how the Thunder Charger works with that. Anyway, this setup right here, when I go on to the logger program, by the way, I don't use the Thunder AC6 program. I use the Sky Charger program, and uh, I like it a lot better. Uh, a lot easier to configure, and uh, I like the screen display on it. This is a 600 milliamp battery, 8.4 volts. In charge mode, manual, current, 1 amp. I just watched the current on it, and it's a completely dead battery. Just a little bit over 600 milliamp hours, 
the uh, pro the uh, charger kicks it off. It says it's fully charged and uh, generates. You know, just like they normally do when you heat up a uh, a double A or charge up an NIMH battery, heats up a little bit, but uh, nothing excessive. Uh, not like the actual chargers that are supplied with these batteries. But uh, so, like I said before, I'm taking the capacity up automatically with these. This one here, the 600 milliamp battery, the charger kicks it off at one amp. Now, for doing these smaller ones that have plugs, um, just like I said, board. I had an old Sound Blaster 5.1 live video. Wish somebody would come and take it from me. Uh, it just takes up room. It had an SPID, D, excuse me, SPDIF cable on it. These come with. Um, CD drives and such like that. Your computer shop will have them laying around. You may have them laying around. I just clipped off the uh, the press in tab, I guess you call it. You notice the wires are white and black. So we've got black for uh, common, white for positive. The Thunder Charger comes with this little connector here, this little red one. When you clip off the connectors, uh, or the push-in tabs, you see black to black, and red to white, but uh, it's black to black. And over here on the little airplane, you make sure the switch is off. And on this one here, black is going towards the off portion on the battery. <clears throat> what I found out is if you, you can turn this plug around reverse polarity, and when you begin the charge, the Thunder AC6 will just, it just cycles back and forth off at a very, very low voltage, just 0 0.2, 0 0.3 volts, and uh, won't draw, draw any amps on it. Hey, that's reverse polarity. It can't sense it. It's such a small battery, but it's reverse polarity. Just flip it over as soon as you start charging in the correct mode. Remember, this could blow up on you, but I'm... Uh, uh, I'll just say this is a disclaimer on it. When you crack, charge it in the correct polarity, as soon as you start to charge by holding down the green button, it'll start pulling 1.1, 1.2 volts at uh, 1 amp. Again, with this little airplane here, this little battery, the uh, two-thirds triple A, I wasn't trusting the automatic function on the Thunder AC6, so I used the computer program and watched it, logged it. Alright, so enough of my uh, mumbling on and rambling on here. Uh, I've plugged it in, the aircraft. There's the SP DIF cable. Plugs into the Thunder charger. NIMH charge manual. Current, I'm using 1 amp. You could use less, it's going to take longer. Then I'll go to start and hold it down. That's battery check. There we go. NIMH, it's manual charge 1.0 amps, 1.72 volts, and it's beginning to charge. Now, I don't have this hooked up to the computer right now. Um, as I said, uh, I like to monitor it on the computer program, and I only take it up to capacity. This one is a three, yeah, 300 milliamp battery. So I only put the capacity of 300 milliamps uh, in it from a dead battery. And uh, charge is a lot better than the little teeny battery pack that they give you with, they just plug it in and say, hey, when it's hot, unplug it. Uh, does real well with it. As I said before, the larger the pack, the, the Thunder Charger, automatically uh, cuts the charge off by delta peak voltage sensing. And it says in the manual that on smaller batteries it may not uh, sense it correctly and won't shut it down. So I do know on the 600 milliamp it does automatically shut down. And uh, I'm not brave enough on these smaller batteries to let it uh, do itself. Hope this helps. Uh, I noticed that nobody had posted anything like this before.